Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. It's a time for Legon City's versus Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Kumasi Asante Kotoko, after that bright start with the coach Mariano Barreto, fought it last time out against Mediama SC, losing 2-1 in the process they will look to get back to winning ways here as they face a legal city side also rejuvenated as someone john has returned to training and has been playing for uh, the legal city's team can they beat Pumasia Santa Gotoko? can they add more in insults to injury or will mariano barreto and his boys recover we'll have a look at the highlights uh, subscribe if you have not click on the notification bell to get more Updates. else against the porcupines the porcupines here at the Accra Sports Stadium it promises to be exciting Michael Ampedo has come in good form this season he now captains Legon City's in the absence of their substantive captain a bit Mohamed gets the trust and confidence of Barreto again to play in that defensive midfield position again Abalora Many blamed him for that second goal in that defeat to Mediama last weekend in Obuase, but he's back in the squad. Legon City is parading familiar faces. Peter Revenge. So, Legon City is just one change to the team that drew against Dreams FC. Nicolas Mensa is out and his place is taken by Joseph J, who is re returning from suspension after that red card against Mediama that has sent Justice Blay out of the season. At the bio Victoria, at the bio Shamsu and at Kofi leading the lines for Legon Cities this evening. Bashir Effort has made a bold statement. He's not really made significant changes for Asante Kotoko. Three changes. Christopher Nete comes in for Samuel Frimpon. Godfrey Desiama for Andy Kumi. And Mudasiri replaces Emmanuel Sarkodie. Now here is Ganyu. Mubarak to Nete. He returns to the squad after a couple of weeks out, losing his place to Samuel Frimpon. He's earned the trust and confidence of his coach and he's back into the lineup. Now here is Ganyu. Mudasiru for Kotoko. He nearly lost the ball, but he kept his calm and composure. Now he is Ganyu. Immoral. Joseph J2 had to create good touch. Now Hans Kofi. Impressive from Legon Cities. Beautiful. Now here is Ampedu swings across in. And Jemfi get ahead on it. Okra fouls Legon City's nail, Kotoko nail. Here is Fabio Gama for Asante Kotoko. He's got Jemfi to his right now. He finds his captain. He sends the cross in. That's some good goalkeeping from goalkeeper Winfred Holland. Timely. Yeah, much, much better from Kotoko. Lovely ball through it for Jemfi on that side. Gama always has this pick in the pockets of the players, and Jemfi makes a very good run. But the cross is not on. It's not good enough. There isn't enough bend on the cross to meet the false number nine today or the man leading attack today. Bonu has an easy catch. I mean, if the referee thinks that is a foul, which we'll see from here, I'm not sure there is so much in it. Yeah, Jeffy tries to go past him. Yeah, that's the hand out, straight hand there to Jeffy's chest. It's a foul, but if the referee gave himself another second, would have been breeze, an advantage, would have been an advantage for Dr. Kobe on the ball in that, in that space. Anything could happen. Now Gama swings one in. Oh, beautiful. Asante Kotoko are up by one goal. Awesome flick of Justin Okra. 30 minutes and the Royals are down by one. The Porcupines are ahead. That is an exciting goal. Beautiful, beautiful from Augustin Okra. Yeah, the builder. If you're a Kotoko fan, you'll be happy with it. If you're a City fan, you're wondering where the defense was. But the last time Kotoko scored on 30th minute was in, against Bidiyama. It was Emmanuel Jeffy, and here it is again. It's happening again on 13th minute. But take a look at Okra, they're making the run to the near post, that's what you'd expect him to make. But the marking wasn't there. Nobody gets in tight to him enough. It's not the most convincing of touches, but it's a delicate one. This is the goalkeeper, Honu. The cross from Gama, it's, 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 like it's a distant ball into the box. So you're expecting the defenders to 
throws in on Okra and deal with him, put the pressure on him. But once there's no pressure, once there's nobody covering that near place, once there's nobody covering the near post, and Okra, credit to him, making an... And Moro gets away possession at the bio. Nutmex, Isiyama, he gets possession again at the bio. Oh, beautiful pass. Hans Kofi, flag stays down. Imoro finally gets the clearance away and is a corner for Cities. Legon Cities, the live 15th on the league log. 23 points. They've won just five games in the Premier League. And this man is yet to really make it count in joining us, Samwajan. He had some minutes in that game against Dreams Day last weekend. In that game against Kotoko at this venue, he came to replace Rafael Oklu. He allows Nete to pick that one. And Nete will send a teasing cross in. That's some good defending from Isaka Mohamed. Imano Jampi! Misses by inches. Double the lead. Here is Jampi with a shot. Not too sure what the best of ideas from Jemfi. He didn't really have options. Asiru. Now Imoro swings across in. Now Joseph J, the tallest man. Abid Mohamed. Clever. Brilliant stuff from Abid. And uh, find their feet in the game again. Exactly what they are doing with Nete finding Gamma on his left. Sets up Nete. Oh, poor first touch. And Honu is there for Cities. Yeah, that was one work between Nete and Gamma to begin with. And the ball from Nete to Gamma was brilliant here. Into that channel, Gamma waiting for it. The native made the run into the box. And Gamma saw it and read the situation well. But yeah. At the bio, close. Abalora did want to close in. But Legon Cities. They are beginning to believe it's possible. Yeah, this man is dangerous at the bio. That the incident here about Muhammad pulling away from his men and look at the run here Hans Kofi dropping deep hints of an offside here but the boy is always getting onto his weaker side get a touch on it and Atuque will tear away he finds Baba Mahama will this be the equalizer Baba Mahama Abalora calm and composed straight to him Baba could have done better this was a clear cut goal for an opportunity it's a brilliant ball to begin with from Jonah Atuque no offside here he was being played on by Bubarik Abu Mahama never really got the ball under his belt. The pressure from Nete is impressive, so he can't really pick his goal. He didn't get his goal here, but he's replacing one experienced man with another experienced player. Jan, I'm sure, is going to be the target man. And will this be his moment? Will this game be his game? It's, it's the script written for him to sign today. It's a free kick in a territory where he's, he can make it happen. He takes the armband from Francis Ardo. He's playing against his boywood club and he's come to have a feel of the game from the first touch it's going to be a free kick and baby jet fancies he can be the man to get them the equalizer he steps forward baby jet as jan jan bench one close Yeah, not quite the Chan Classic. No. Yeah, the run is the same. Efforts look the same, but the end point has not quite. Tower to the everybody. It's been such a tower. Nothing going past. Next it to Gamma. Oh, beautiful. He goes past Isaka. He goes down. Free kick cut the court. Yellow card for Isaka. Now Ampedu. Ampedu is a culprit. So, it was Ampedu. Yeah. yeah the nasty challenge. There actually sl slid by it's Papa Mahama Jonah Tukwe as someone Jan goes down referee says get up Tampuri doesn't whistle for any decision sorry you on the yellow yeah that was the incident again lovely three ball for Jan again I think it's a foul it really is because Nete doesn't get the ball he's he's going to right there that is the contact with the Jan's left leg otherwise Jan was through on goal to Moda Siru now Gamma. These guys are playing delightfully at this stage. Now Jemfi goes past Mahama. He finds Nete. Mudasiru. Atuque second he must get one to the last seconds. Any moment from now, Tampuri should be bringing proceedings to an end. I see Asante Kotoko back 20 ways beating Legon Cities here. 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day. Bang.